Hey y'all, uh, there was a request, a request on the uh, Electric Guitar Builders group in uh, Facebook on how to cut a body out, a guitar body out with um, without any uh, power tools, and it's definitely possible. Um, <clears throat> now it'd be a lot easier if you have a bandsaw where you draw your outline of your guitar, and <coughs> excuse me. You know, dealing a little cold here, <clears throat> but uh, you could do definitely do it a lot easier with a bandsaw and using files and rasps to uh, hone the edges of that body. But um, not everybody has a bandsaw, or kind of you might be in an area where uh, kind of far away from a lot of people, like out in the country or something, or you don't have a bandsaw, you can't afford to get a bandsaw, and you know, you can't, uh, or you. You just don't know anybody with the power tools. Now, um, you can still get it done, but you're going to use a lot of muscle, a lot of, you know, heartache using your arm in a coping saw like this. Sorry, I, my workbench is a huge mess. But uh, let's see. Here's an example. I just got some scrap wood here from an earlier project. So you want to just get this line here that you want to carve out. Easy enough. Now, I know you don't want to take this saw and try to go all the way through, so one of the quickest, easiest ways is to drill holes through this. So, you want to position your drill bit. Let me get a smaller bit. You want to position all these holes so That's obviously a little too close to that line. Let me do another one. So that's just a little bit outside of that line. Do that again. Again. One more time. Let's see if we can get this edge here. Nope. Okay. That's done. Okay. That will definitely make it easier for you to cut. Now it's important to try to keep your saw as perpendicular as possible. It'll just make it easier down the line when you got everything at all the edges out at 90 degrees. So that's done. Even do, might be able to do this edge here too. And the point of the drill bit of drilling the edges is to get as much material off so with your saw you have a lot less stuff to deal with and you can go on the side going around the body like that but this is just a small corner piece so that's not a big deal. <coughs> Next file now I've had this file for <clears throat> I don't know a good 10 15 years maybe I've my dad owned it before I did uh, he got a bunch of new tools so I took some of his older stuff <clears throat> and I've been using this a lot and that's a really rough grit um, let's see where the camera is that's a really harsh grit on this file let's see focus focus and uh, this file on one side is flat on one side and curved on the other. There's also a fine, si fine flat side here and a rough side there, curved side there. So it's just a little bit of a curve. Now this is perfect for the, ins the, the insides of that curve. So what you do next, you get this, you got your curve, you got your holes and stuff right there. You just... <laughs> you do that for a while until your arm falls off and eventually you'll get there <clears throat> now you could also get a rasp and I have no idea where my rasp is so um, 
I know it's somewhere here, but I'm not going to look for it. But, you know, if you have a vise, you can definitely just clamp your body in, get that big rasp, and go, go at it. Or, you could also use a plane, but uh, you'd have to set your plane up nice and even to get there. Like, I just got this one from, uh, this is just a cheap one from, uh, from... Uh, Lowe's and I just use this I don't use this for guitars I just use this for household projects so let me try and see if I can get a small edge on that you could use that it's nice if you get a sharp one because you can definitely keep a flat edge going on that on that body which is important that Unless, you know, you want to pull a, a crazy carve on there, but that's fine. Anyway, that's another way of doing it. So you get your file or your plane or your rasp or whatever you want to smooth out the edges. And so... Imagine if this is perfectly smooth, which is not. <laughs> then, take some sanding paper. Uh, I like to file, since this is such a rough grit, I don't even know what that is, but since that's such a rough grit, it's I only get as close as possible to the line, leaving some meat in there for sandpaper. <clears throat> because these will leave, this this will leave deep gouges in there, so. <clears throat> so get some sandpaper and block flatten it out on that block I'm not going to cut this up I, this is new so I don't the hell with it that's what YouTube wants people waiting be a lot easier um, what I like to do as well is uh, I, use, I have some uh, spray adhesive I'll spray this side I'll spray that side and then cut the edges so they're perfectly flat you don't get any curves on the sides but that's another thing we'll deal with this now so take your sandpaper this is 60 grit and just smooth out that edge <laughs> That'll slowly start getting rid of the uh, deep gouges that your file left, and uh, you just keep going um, higher and higher with the grits until that edge is where you want it. Uh, I think you get up to 320, you should be okay um, to start filling stuff out with a grain filler or whatever you want to do as your finish. But it's really that easy with just a hand. Tool. Huh, I got cut off there, but anyway. You can do it with <clears throat> hand tools. It's definitely possible. It's just a lot more wear and tear on your arms. Um, you just got to be patient with it and be as take take your time with it. Uh, you can easily, especially with a block plane like this, you can easily mess a piece up, especially if your blade is sharp. That's why I generally don't use that for things like this. Uh, unless it's a flat surface, then yeah, that's what I'm trying to true up, but the file File a rasp um, And sandpaper you can definitely get a lot of work done now for the inside edges of the guitar where You got that nice big curve. Here's a sample you get in here You need a big dowel I don't have one handy here. Let's use this half inch dowel here or whatever. It doesn't matter. But you know, get the get those big dowels at a Home Depot for a couple bucks. And all you do, take your sandpaper, wrap it around, and just 
finesse that inside corner. And what I also did was, uh, let's see if I can find one here. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> did find one. So it's about an inch and a half. Inch, inch and a half. I don't know. My math sucks. So anyway, what I did here took some sandpaper. I think this is about a 80 grit, <clears throat> 80 to 100 grit, and I wrapped it around in an angle, in a 45 degree angle. And then before that, I sprayed some uh, some uh, spray adhesive on here and stuck that on there. And what you can do, just hold that and then go inside those corners. Now you can, for the larger ones, you can get some two inch to three inch uh, pieces like this. And it just makes, without if you don't have a spindle sander or something, this is definitely a lifesaver. And what I also did, I had another piece, but I threw it away a long time ago, is uh, I drilled a hole right down the center of this, try to get the exact center piece of this, drilled a hole, then drilled a uh, quarter inch bolt in the middle of it, tightened it down, and then attached it to the drill. Now, uh, that, I, I would only do that for... Um, the start of, of your with your 80 grit with, with your 60 grit or so just to get most of the meat off But then do it by hand with uh, when you start going finer and finer grits So you got more control over it. the using a drill make it go faster, but you got a bit of a bigger chance of uh, messing stuff up <coughs> so all of this is possible with it now I had to have proof That it is possible because I've been I cut this body out with a band with a bandsaw that I was that I got from Home Depot for a hundred I got cut out again. Anyway, I cut this body out with a cheap Ryobi OB bandsaw. And it was a hundred bucks. This is mahogany so uh I had to make sure not to go too fast with that little um that little bitty uh, blade that's on there. You got to go slow with hardwoods because uh, those blades are mostly made for smaller projects. So, but I cut this out with that and then used files and rasps, a lot of sandpaper, a lot of time to get this done. And it was the same thing with this carve. It's not a perfect carve by any means. There's a lot of bumps and deeper spots and higher spots in this, but. Uh, you know, it's what I could do at the time, and it was hard to tell. This was actually my first, one of my first carved guitars that I did, so. And I love this guitar. It's just a really comfy guitar. I stole that. I definitely stole this from Kiesel, so. One day I'll get one of those guitars. Somebody loaned me 4000 bucks, but. Not sure what that is. But, yeah. So, yes, it is possible to carve a guitar without any power tools. Except I did cheat a little bit. The cavities for the pickups and the bridge and the neck pocket uh, were already um, routed out for me because I used uh, Warmoth. Paid 110 bucks, 130 bucks for a body, for a body blank that had all the pockets routed. So all I had to do was go in and cut the shape out, and that was it. And that's mostly because I don't have all the templates and they certainly make my life a lot easier when I want to build a guitar for myself. So, as I learned, yes, you can carve a body out with a file, some sandpaper, and a lot of time. Uh, remember, just plan a long day when you're going to do this. Drills help. Put a dowel, get a big one of these big posts dowels, whatever they're called, drill a hole through it, you can knock out a lot of wood with it. So, anyway, I'm going to clean my bench. See ya.